Okay guys, in the last video we looked at classes and now we know what a class is. It's a blueprint for an object and an object uses that blueprint and becomes an instance of that class and you could access it as we saw in the last video. Uh, you might be asking where are these objects defined? Like where, where is, you know, I told you that there's hundreds of, hundreds of classes defined like this right this is an, an application object but where can you you know where is this defined where is the code written for that so I want to show you now where you can see where where these are located where the, the files are located that contain the classes and they're located um, <clears throat> on your computer and you can see them by going to uh, tools up here and if you go to references, you can see that the references window up here, and it's associated with the VBA project. Up here it says VBA project. And this shows you that the references in this window apply to your entire VBA project and all the modules within it. And notice that there are a lot of available references. So here it says available references, and there's hundreds of them, right? There's so many. I mean, a lot of them. Um, if you want to, if you want to include one of these references, all you have to do is check a box, and it'll be included. Check a box and click OK. Um, by default, some references are already checked, and the reference is actually just a file on your computer, and it's called a, a library here you see how this is called a library because it contains definitions for your objects and notice that when you select a reference here you get to see the location here of where that file is stored on your computer and you can't um, some of these files you can't open them like this is a dot DLL file you can't open this file most of them you're not going to be able to open. So just so just if you go if you just if you're curious, if you go to these paths here, you probably won't be probably won't be able to open them. And if you do, they'll be just gibberish. So what's important here? Um, why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because I want to show you where these are where the the objects that you're going to be working with are defined. And like I said, they're defined on your computer. And Let's talk about the default ones that are checked off here because those are the ones that are really important. So this first one here that's that's included as a reference, uh, it's, it's the Visual Basic for Applications reference. This contains the definitions for the VBA language. So not not exact not the not the objects but but the language itself the syntax and, and so forth and so on and you can see where it's located this here the Microsoft Excel object library contains definitions for the objects like what is a worksheet what is a workbook what is a cell um, things like that in the same way that we have our our basketball class here that we saw contains a um, we defined our basketball class as having a property called name this is the library that it defines what a worksheet is it has a class in that library that defines what a worksheet is um, the the OLE automation library here um, this contains definitions for database connections and other objects that communicate with uh, you know external sources databases like access or SQL Server this contains those definitions that are going to work with those objects uh, the Microsoft Office library contains definitions uh, for things that exist across all office programs like message boxes or command bars so so you have all these these references that are including that 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 contain classes and within those classes they 
They contain properties and functions and sub procedures, and they they define what what a message box is or what a what a worksheet is, and then you can access those properties and functions. The forms library here, you know, probably pretty intuitive. It contains definitions for user forms. So, what is a you know what 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 does the form look like and what what can it what can go on it what components can go on it like buttons and all kinds of stuff so that's for forms but these are the default ones that you should see um, when you go to this reference um, this this reference this reference window and if you don't see them you can always you click on them and then there's all there's all kinds of other stuff that you know as you as you program in VBA you know, you don't need to memorize any of this stuff. I don't know 99% of these things, but there might be a time when you're going to need one of these things, and you can you can go and you could click it and click OK. You could see where it's located, and you just want to know that what's happening here is, in the same way that we created a class module for a basketball team, and it's located in our VBA project. The Microsoft developers created these classes. Uh, that define you know what a worksheet is or what a form is or all that stuff you could actually see the files right here um, so that is something that hopefully helps you intuitively understand okay I know that VBA programming has to do with these classes and objects but when I program where am I gonna what what classes are am I gonna use well you're gonna use the ones that are contained here and possibly other in other references that you include so that's all this video was it talks about the references it should give you an intuitive feel for you're actually working with classes that are on your computer somewhere and they're down here okay in the next video we'll actually look at all the classes I told you you can't open these files but there's a way that you can see them and that's what we'll go over in the next video okay